Eric Ten Hag's face like thunder sums up Man United misery as sack fears grow Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United hit a new low, with a thrashing at Crystal Palace which leaves the manager's future as Red Devil's boss in doubt Eric Ten Hag stood on the touchline, with a face like thunder. These are the sort of performances and defeats that get managers the sack. And with his future already uncertain, it is impossible to see Ten Hag surviving. It is not even a season of mediocrity. It has become downright embarrassing. And just when you thought it could not get any worse, Manchester United hit a humiliating new low, they are now eighth in the table. This is Manchester United we are talking about. Once the greatest club in the world and now languishing in mid-table heading towards a season without European football, Man United twice tried to sign me. I turned them down as I was Arsenal through and through, yes. They have been decimated with injuries, but there is no excuse for such bad defending. It was a betrayal of the shirt and the travelling fans. Where was the pride? Where was the passion? The debate has been raging over whether Sir Jim Ratcliffe should stick with Ten Hag and yet this performance was the biggest argument for changing the manager and Ten Hag's excuses about injuries should not wash. There was a collection of big money players out on the pitch, Anthony was £80 million, Rasmus Hodgland £73 million and Case Miro has won 75 caps for Brazil. Yet none of them lived up to their reputations, United captain Bruno Fernandes was missing and, incredibly, it was the first game he has missed through injury in his entire club career. He is not everyone's idea of a leader but they could have done with him out on the pitch. Case Moreau battles with Ebereki E's Case Moreau looked lost in the Manchester United defence instead, there was a ramshackle group of players who did not seem to even know what they were doing as they were a disorganized mess with no idea of how to defend their goal, Crystal. Palace winger Michael Aulis scored twice, tore United apart and was easily the best player on the pitch. But the way United's defense just parted for him to run through and score his first goal was straight out of Sunday League. His second was world class. England boss Gareth Southgate sat in the stands and he must be wondering what has happened to Kobe Mainu who looked lost and unsure of his role in the team. At times, it looked like Mainu was playing as a third centre back in the makeshift defence made up of 36 year old Johnny Evans and midfielder turned defender Case Miro, whose legs have gone. Palace just had too much energy and determination for United. Palace boss Oliver Glasner has instilled a new flair about his team which underlines the difference a manager can make. Crystal Palace celebrate Crystal Palace found life easy against Manchester United Dutchman Ten Hag, meanwhile, seems intent on blaming everyone else for his own failings with a catalogue of excuses which cannot. Disguise the fact that United deserve better. Palace's first goal typified United's performance. Daniel Munoz took the throw in, Aulis sent Case Miro sprawling to the floor.